Chapter 28 The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, save unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted, VP, and thou hast said, I am a God, I sit in the sit of God in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man, and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom, and by thy terrific hast thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted VP because of thy riches. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man, and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Thou shalt die the deaths of the circumcised by the hand of strangers. For I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take Phoebe a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and save unto him, thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest Phoebe the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been and eaten the garden of God, Uri precious stone was thy cowering, the sardius topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee, in the day that thou waste created. Thou art the anointed cherub that quereth, and I house at thee so. Thou waste fond the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked feet pee and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou waste perfect in thy ways from the day that thou waste created, till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise they how filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O cowering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thine heart was lifted VP because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy trafic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, it shall dure thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror, and nor shalt thou be any more. Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Sidon, and profeshi against it. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Zidon, and I will be glorified in the midst of thee. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall have executed judgments in her, and shall be sanctified in her. For I will send into her pestilence, and blood into her streeties. And the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on your side. And they shall know that I am the Lord. And there shall be no more a pricking briar of until the house of Israel, nor any growing thorn of all that are round about them that despise them. And they shall know that I am the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, when I shall how gathered the house of Israel for the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land, that I how you into my Seruan Jacob, and they shall dwell safely therein, and shall build houses, and plant vineyards. Yea, they shall dwell with confidence when I how executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them, and they shall know that I am the Lord their God. Chapter 29 In the tenth year, in the tenth month, in the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came and told me, saying, 
Son of man, set thy face against Pharaoh king of Egypt, and profess against him, and against all Egypt. Speak and say, This saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, Pharaoh king of Egypt. The great dragon that leeth in the midst of his reuers, which hath said, My roar is mine own, and I how made it for myself. But I will put hooks in thy chaws, and I will cause the fish of thy roars to stick and tow thy scales. And I will bring thee VP out of the midst of thy reuers, and all the fish of thy reuers shall stick and tow thy scales. And I will Leo thee throw in into the wilderness, thee and all the fish of thy reuers. Thou shalt fall upon the open fields, thou shalt not be brought together, nor gathered. I how drew in thee for me to the beasts of the field, and to the fools of the hoeing. And all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am the Lord, because they how been a staff of reed to the house of Israel. When they took hold of thee by thy hand, thou didst break, and rent all their shoulder. And when they leaned on thee, thou breakest, and maddest all their loins to be at a stand. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will bring a sword upon thee, and cut off man and beast out of thee. And the land of Egypt shall desolate and waste. And they shall know that I am the Lord, because he hath said, The ruhr is mine, and I how made it. Behold, therefore, I am against thee, and against thy reuers, and I will make the land of Egypt surely waste and desolate. From the tower of Sine, you invento the border of Ethiopia. No foot of man shall pass a through it, nor foot of beast shall pass a through it, neither shall it be inhabited forty years. And I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and her cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be desolate forty years. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and will disperse them through the countries. Yet thus saith the Lord God, At the end of forty years will I gather the Egyptians from the people whither they were scattered. And I will bring again the captivity of Egypt, and will cause them to return into the land of Patheris, into the land of their habitation, and they shall be there a base kingdom. It shall be the basest of the kingdoms, neither shall it exalt itself any more about the nations. For I will diminish them, that they shall no more rule over the nations. And it shall be no more the confidence of the house of Israel, which bringeth their iniquity to remembrance when they shall look after them. But they shall know that I am the Lord God. And it came to pass a in the Suin and twentieth year. In the first monath, in the first day of the monath, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, Rezer, king of Babylon, caused his army to Saru a great Saris against Tyrus. Uri's head was made baldy, and Uri's shoulder was peeled. Yet had he no wages, nor his army for Tyrus, for the Sarus that he had Sarud against it. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will Jew the land of Egypt unto Nebuchadnezzar, Rezer, king of Babylon. And he shall take her multitude, and take her spoil, and take her prey, and it shall be the wages for his army. I howed you in him the land of Egypt for his labor wherewith he shrewd against it, because they wrought for me, saith the Lord God. In that day will I cause the horn of the house of Israel to bud forth, and I will jew thee the opening of the mouth in the midst of them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 30 the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, profession say, Thus saith the Lord God, Howl ye, woe with the day. For the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near, a cloudy day, it shall be the time of the heathen. And the sword shall come upon Egypt, and great pain shall be in Ethiopia, when the slain shall fall in Egypt, and they shall take away her multitude, and her foundations shall be broken down. Ethiopia, and Libya, and Lydia, and all the mingled people, and Chub, and the men of the land that is in league, shall fall with them by the sword. Thus saith the Lord, They also that fold Egypt shall fall, and the pride of her power shall come down. From the tower of signs shall they fall in it by the sword, saith the Lord God, and they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and her cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I house set a fire in Egypt, 
and when all her helpers shall be destroyed. In that day shall messengers go forth from me in ships, to make the careless Ethiopians afraid, and great pain shall come upon them, as in the day of Egypt. For lo, it cometh, thus saith the Lord God, I will also make the multitude of Egypt to cease by the hand of Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, he and his people with him. The terrible of the nations shall be brought to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Egypt, and fill the land with the slain. And I will make the reures dry, and sell the land into the hand of the wicked, and I will make the land waste, and all that is therein, by the hand of strangers. I the Lord how spoken it, thus saith the Lord God. I will also destroy the idols, and I will cause their images to cease out of Noph. And there shall no more a prince of the land of Egypt. And I will put a fear in the land of Egypt. And I will make Pathras desolate. And will set fire in Zoan. And will execute judgments in No. And I will power my fury upon Sin, the strength of Egypt. And I will cut off the multitude of No. And I will set fire in Egypt. Sin shall how great pain. And No shall be rent asunder. And Naf shall how distresses daily. The young men of Awan and of Phabeseth shall fall by the sword, and these cities shall go into captivity. At to half these also the day shall darken when I shall break there the yokes of Egypt, and the pomp of her strength shall cease in her. As for her, a cloud shall cower her, and her daughters shall go into captivity. Thus will I execute judgments in Egypt, and they shall know that I am the Lord. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first month, in the seventh day of the month that the word of the Lord came then to me, saying, Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh king of Egypt, and lo, it shall not be bound VP to be healed, to put a ruler to bind it, to make it strong to hold the sword. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against Pharaoh king of Egypt, and will break his arms, the strong, and that which was broken and I will cause the sword to fall out of his hand. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and will disperse them through the countries. And I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and put my sword in his hand. But I will break Pharaoh's arms, and he shall groan before him, with the groanings of a deadly wounded man. But I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall stretch it out upon the land of Egypt. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and disperse them among the countries, and they shall know that I am the Lord.